Hi everyone, welcome back to Sophisticated K. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got my camera, it arrived when I got back from Baltimore. It was there, it was there on the doorstep waiting for me. Although the postage and check-in said that someone received it. I'm like, excuse me, if you received my parcel? Rude. But anyway, before I even get started, I've got a great, big, massive shout out to my cute, adorable little nephew, Shakir. Shakir, Auntie Kaisha loved you so much and I want to say thank you for watching all of my videos. You are one of my youngest viewers. You are one of the youngest Sophisticated K Crew members. You are one of my youngest fans. So Shakir, I love you, I appreciate you and I'm glad you enjoy watching my videos. But here's what. I'm also glad that you say, Mummy, I want to watch Auntie Kaisha when you see her on YouTube because that means no matter what she's doing, she's got to stop and say, Okay, Shakir, I'll put Auntie Kaisha on. So thank you. I love you. Okay, now everyone. You know I'm a fashionista, right? You know I love me some fashion, some, um, some gold and stuff and, you know, colours and excitement. And before I get started, actually, don't even watch the fact that I'm wearing a long sleeve in Florida. I am wearing a long sleeve in Florida because I'm about to get on a plane and planes are cold. The aircon, it, yeah, so that's why I thought I'd protect myself. And then I've got a little cop jacket that I'll put over me if it's even more colder than what I'm expecting. But anyway, before I start, before I start, I am wearing my KK Fluffy slippers. Look. Woohoo! I'm about to put my feet in my gold slippers, in my gold shoes, but I just thought I would show you my KK Fluffy slippers. I'm going to go and check the mailbox before I leave, so let's go and do that. You can come with me, you can come with me to the mailbox. Yep. You know, but I actually haven't been, oh no, I think I have, I think I went to the mailbox once. We don't get a lot of mail. And whenever I do expect mail, we get junk mail instead. So, um, a lot of things just get emailed to us, so um, I just never check the mail. Let's see what's happening in here. Oh, oh, my car insurance came. My car insurance. Yes, I'm smart. I'm not showing you the address. <laughs> but anyway, my fluffy slippers. Hey. I'm so excited and they're red, my favourite colour. So I'm going to put the link and stuff in the description below so you can get your own because summer in the UK is coming. Summer is pretty much here in America and um, they're so comfortable. I love that they don't show all of my toes because I don't really like my my feet showing too much but um yeah get some and then um join me on my journey to tampa and final destination texas i'm so excited I get to the airport. I'm just cruising because I'm barely early. 
God is good, God is good. Let me tell you something, right? Black people have a stigma attached to them about being late. I don't know if it's, if it's just in a black community where we say black people time or whatever it is, but I'm a black person that doesn't like being late. I'm not late for work. I wasn't late for school. I'm not late when I go to events and things. I don't think we need to take that that um, that stigma, that title, that stereotype with us because I am a black person through and through and I am not late for places. My flight, let me tell you something. My flight is not for another, what time is it now? 1.30. We're not black people that are late. People are just late, okay? People are just um, tardy for the party, but that ain't me. So, okay, let's keep going. Let me just tell you something right here be grateful for what you have look at them sitting there they obviously don't have a home be grateful for what you have bottom line i don't have to say anything else i made it to the airport on time Woo like i said black people do not have to be late it's 2 19 and my flight is at five o'clock hey Dominica! Hey! 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 I haven't even got here yet. What did you say? Touch here for a ticket. Oh, my arms are short. Oh. Right everyone, so you know how I um, prepare everything before I travel. I have got some pasta with really tiny pieces of broccoli, obviously, because it needed to fit in here. Spinach and tomatoes. So I'm looking forward to eating that because why am I hungry? super 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 hungry and I just spoke to someone in fact it's a lady when we got through security she said what a fiasco and I was like yeah I know it's crazy I feel like I have to strip she said what are they going to tell us to do next take off our underwear while keeping our trousers on and I was just in stitches imagine that what a challenge taking off your underwear whilst keeping your trousers on oh my gosh but anyway like I said, I'm early. My flight is at 5 o'clock and it is 3.25. So Good afternoon, attention on the air side. This will serve as a final and immediate boarding call for JetBlue flight 350 to Washington Reagan Airport. If you're holding a ticket at a confirmed seat, please make your way immediately to gate 12. Your aircraft is fully boarded and ready for an immediate and on-time departure. And relax. So, I will see you on the plane.
Okay, so I'm out, but this airport is a little bit confusing. I think I just like Orlando. Although there's one thing that I'm happy about. When I travel from state to state, I haven't got to go for immigration. And lately, because I've just been carrying my um, red rucksack and a gift bag along with my pillow, I don't have to go to baggage claimage. Oh my goodness. But anyway, let's go and see who's going to pick me up. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah, cool. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hello, Fancy you? seeing you here. Fancy seeing me here. <laughs> you always see me. Hi. How you doing? Where you oh, did something back? fall? No one should. Oh, I thought I had something fall. That is it. You don't have no big bag. No. Travel light these days. It's free. You kind of in it, so I guess. Dad's got some clothes for me. Oh, everyone so last night it was way too late for me to do any filming I was so tired oh my gosh I've been jet setting all over blooming America so um, my cousin invited me to his football game today and it's the first time I'm going to a football game so I'm like yes I'm coming little cuz I'm coming I just showed you them you should have just seen two of them one had all that hair and one didn't oh my gosh it's actually amazing look how much look at look at that so anyway, I'm going to get a couple of close-ups of them. I'm freezing cold because I've come from Florida and it's freezing cold here. And trust me, I only bought summer clothes, not knowing how cold it was going to be here. So I'm like shivering. But I've made a promise. Kaisha does not break her promises. So I'm here to support my cousins. I want to see them play. And then... Um, and then I'm going because I have to get warm again. I'm like shivering already. But anyway, I love these dudes. So I want to see them play and I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to end the video because I'm like, I'll I just want to go and eat and get warm again. everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that i just can't believe how cold it is like when i tell you i bought summer clothes like look at this this is summer trousers i've got only my gold shoes right and they have holes in them wait did you see my gold shoes i literally only bought this orange top right to go with these trousers and then the fact that I bought this to go on the plane was a lifesaver because otherwise I wouldn't have had anything. Then I had to get a long sleeve from my auntie, so it's a good job we're the same size. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. So yeah, we, we couldn't stay at the game. My uncle was like freezing cold and my hands were freezing cold. Like you, you know, you lot know me. I wear gloves and gloves, hats, scarves. Um, what else do I wear? Double socks, like my little boots. Mm -mm. I was not expecting to come here and feel winter. I was not. So um, Zay and, and King, I love you too. And I support you, but I couldn't, we couldn't stay. Uncle Charlie was in pain. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed that. My little trip to Texas, well, to Tampa, then to Texas, and then today, my first day. And then tomorrow, my brother is graduating. So I'm going to film that. It'll be a separate video, which will come out the Friday after. So make sure you subscribe, like, subscribe, share, comment, and... Have a good day wherever you are. Sophisticated K in Texas. Oh my God.